Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I just saw some interesting news tonight. I want to make sure I share with you, the audience, talking about GM's eight-speed automatic transmission. This transmission has been the bane of people's existence about some of these trucks because of a harsh shifting, a shutter, a jerk kind of situation going on. And today, according to the Detroit Free Press, the eight-speed transmission has been part and has been part of a class, uh, part of a lawsuits, and now that lawsuit has been given class action status. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, let's go ahead and get to these details because I think it's pretty interesting and people need to know this because it does impact their current vehicles and there's some big questions out there about next generation Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon, and some other Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierras that still have eight-speed transmissions in them. So no. let's go ahead and talk about this news. So first of all, news comes from autoblog.com. I literally just saw this tonight. I missed it during the day. But the GM eight-speed transmission lawsuit granted in class action certification. Owners alleged sh shuddering, jerking, and hard shifts. So what Autoblog had reported on, they did a story back in 2019, as we did back in 2019. And as of today, they had 166 comments, mostly from owners of cars and trucks, who were experiencing a hesitation, followed by significant shake, shudder, jerk, clunk, or hard shift. That's with the eight-speed transmission. At the time, lawyers were seeking statewide classes in at least six, six states. Now, well, what do we got three or four years later, the Detroit Free Press reports that a judge grant has granted class action status to the lawsuit brought by 39 plaintiffs across 26 states covering the transmission issue. This is a pretty common legal practice I've seen throughout different lawsuits. You get a bunch of lawsuits, different states together, you put them all together in one class action lawsuit, easier for the Justice Department and easier for legal uh, system to make sense of that instead of having all these individual lawsuits. But, but what's interesting in this lawsuit is always things filed, and these are things you need to know. The law specifically applies to vehicles that are equipped with GM's 8L90 or 8L45. You gotta love GM coding. They are an eight speed automatic transmissions made between 2015 and March 1st, 2019. Both these transmissions are similar units, the 8L45 being a slightly lighter version used in fewer vehicles, and the beef here, 8L90. Both signed for front wheel or rear wheel or all wheel drive applications. Lawsuit alleges that erratic transmission behavior makes some vehicles unsafe to drive. And that's, I mean, that's lawyer speak, right? Unsafe to drive. It's going to, and we always see this with the uh, um, recalls. Everything's going to go on fire. It's just, that's what happens. But this lawyer, uh, he had some pretty, in, poof, he was throwing out some darts here in his comments. So Ted Leopold, he was the partner of Cohen Milstein. Milstein, I think I'm going to say it right. And he's the court appointed lead counsel for this case. Said in a statement, General Motors knowingly sold over 800,000 eight-speed transmission vehicles which they knew to be defective for years. So he's claiming that GM knew these were defective, and he said they have yet, and yet they made the business decision not to tell the customers before purchase. So, I mean, think about that. GM, you go to buy a truck from GM and tell you that transmission is defective before you bought it. Okay. <laughs> Let lawyers speak a little bit here. Uh, dealers were directed to tell customers hard shifts were normal or part of the transmission. Such decision making is high, both highly responsible and implementable of what GM believes they can get away with. So, Okay, uh, it, it, interesting. I, I can see his point, but I don't think any dealer is going to tell you, hey, before you buy that, by the way, that transmission is terrible. Uh, the vehicles included in court order with potentially faulty transmissions include the Chevy Silverado, Chevy Colorado, Corvette, Camaro, Escalade, Escalade, ESV, Gallic ATS, ATSB, CTS, CTS V6, eh, GM terminology, uh, GMC Sierra, Yukon, Yukon XL, and Yukon XL, Yukon Denali XL, and GMC Canyon. So we're talking older models. Right, and that was the first eight-speed came out uh, back then, and now they've moved to a ten-speed in some of these trims, not all of them, some of the trims, and then they went on because I think it was interesting. Two points came up with this. Uh, Cohen Milstein, the lawyers, came up with this claim that said that since 2015, GM has issued 13 versions of a technical service bulletin, TSB related to the shifting issue alone. Now, TSBs are pretty common in the industry. Instead of recall, they'll issue a TSB to let technicians know what to tell the customers. The customers come in complain about a certain pro problem. 13 is pretty excessive. That's a that's a pretty big number. The statement from Cohen Milstein says that a second action regarding GM vehicles with 8L transmissions is also underway in the battle versus GM motors. The case features 8L vehicles with hard shifts made after March 1st, 2019. Model year 2019, 2019 to model year 2022. This got my attention because I knew it was the old some of the older ones, but I didn't know it was the new new ones. And that's interesting. So that's when GM replaced trans uh, transmission fluid that caused the shutter problem. So there was a transmission fluid that was changed. And we've had several several things on this. So 
Uh, back in March 10th, 2021, we talked about GMG placing some of the eight-speed transmissions. There was a customer satisfaction program for some vehicles, and this was from GM Authority. And that they talked about a broken carrier ring, and a broken carrier ring prevent the transmission operating as, as intended. There was an issue with transmission fluid. I know we covered that as well. The transaction, the, the class action lawsuit was officially filed in January 19 of 2022, so last uh, last year, and now it's reached class action status. And we said in this article, which I need to double check, but Harper had said there was more than 60 techno service bulletins related to GM's hydromatic eight-speed transmission. So we had 13 from one lawyer firm, 60 from another. I, I need to go in and count on myself, but that's a lot. And so the hard shifting is at the heart of that complaint. And these are the vehicles we had listed back then, but I did not realize, like I said, I didn't realize that it was coming from the newer ones too. And here we got another story. That was January, 20, 2021, this is a little bit older story. And this is part of reliability stuff about the GM issues as well, 15 different vehicles. So, and carcomplaints.com just completely talks about this. And we've done, I've done videos on this before. I've talked about it. Consumer Reports have talked about it. Everybody's talked about this issue with the fucking eight-speed transmission. So what I want to put out now is what's happening now. With the 2023 model year of the new Chevy Colorado, we know it's got two different engine type or two different engine tunes. We have... The straight 2.7 liter turbo, we have a turbo plus and the turbo high output. These are the same engines, it's different tunes. The 2.7 liter turbo, is a, it's a different kind of engine, doesn't have the same kind of hardware that the other engines have. But the important part I'm getting to, I'm not about engines in this, transmissions. A second generation 8-speed automatic transmission complements the new engine. So that was the question, was what's going to happen with these new Colorados with the 8-speed transmission? People are saying, I hope they fix that transmission. I hope they did too, because... This is a whole new lineup, a new generation of color Colorados. Uh, for GM's sake, I'd hate for this new truck to have all these, the same black eye that the older trucks had. And I wanted to double check something, and you can bear with me for a minute, because I did not look this up beforehand. But I wanted to look, because I believe that the, the Silverado, and this applies to the uh, GMC vehicles as well, but I believe the Silverado had the upgraded 8-speed for the 2023 model year. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. There it is. Eight speed on my transmission. Be aware, be aware that the eight speed transmission from General Leonard Motors right now is on shaky ground. That's the best way to describe it. As according to lawsuits we've had done, complaints that have from owners. It's on shaky ground. We don't know if the second generation is going to be any better. And I don't know, and I, I'll verify this another time, whether the new Chevy Silverado in the 2023 has eight-speed transmission as well. But people are having problems with this. Uh, I will say Ford had issues as well. Uh, the 21 Power Boost I had, people were complaining about the transmission then. That was a learning transmission. You can go to dealership and they could actually set it back to ground zero or reset it all the way. A lot of people actually had good results with that. So and people had good results changing the transmission fluid out on some of these eight-speed transmissions as well. So, I don't know. It's the world we live in. I do wish GM would just do 10-speed across the board. 10-speed seems like it's doing pretty well, uh, according to early analysis I've done on reliability. But, yeah. So, I just want to give you the update. If you're out there shopping for the new ship Colorado or GMC Canyon, I know a lot of guys are, like, beating down the door, trying to figure out when these trucks are going to start shipping. What's the issue? The issue has been EPA certification on a new 2.7-liter in the Colorado, it just holds things up as always it does. They'll build a lot on factory and they'll put them out on the on the parking lots and get ready to ship since certification comes through. They can't ship them without certification to the dealers from the EPA. So that's what's holding them up. And I did the initial drive of the Colorado and I'll link to that video above. I did not experience any jerkiness or hard shifting on the 8-speed when I, when I did a drive in San Diego. Uh, I, the thing to keep in mind is those are press first drive at press events. And you're looking at all sorts of things. You're not always paying attention to all the little details on transmissions and things like that because you got all sorts of stuff going on. I know uh, Alex Luft over at Jam Authority did a video just eight speed transmission. It seems like it worked out right for him. So just trying to give you guys peace of mind before you you know you plunk that lot of money and go get it. I would definitely take the truck, the Colorado, for a test drive first before you leave dealerships when you go to pick it up. I I don't know. It just seems like the Colorado and the Silverado. I would definitely go test drive. Make sure you like transmission before you take it off, off a lot. But I just want to make sure you guys are aware of what's going on with the GM transmission. And we're going to keep commenting. We'll keep reporting on this 
as we get more details in the Silverado, whether it's not, no, the second tech, tech genera- first generation of the eight speed, whether or not the, trans- the class action lawsuit gets settled, we'll, we'll update you on that. So I give you guys some information you have to make you an informed consumer. That's like doing this channel. So there you go. Hey, for more, check out videos over here. Uh, website down below as well. Uh, pickuptruck.com. Pickuptrucktalk.com. I cannot talk tonight. I need to go back to my uh, recliner. Pickuptrucktalk.com. Three words made it simple to type it in. Hard to say. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.